All right, Shalom, Yasharala. Peace, Israel. First off, I would like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and has taught us this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the hopeful elect out there laboring truth and sincerity on the four corners of the earth, understanding in the banner of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kadash. All right, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who people ignorantly call God. Yahweh shall be in the name of his only begotten son, our Lord and Savior, who people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. All right, and <clears throat> Bashem is in the name of Kakadash, uh, means the Holy Spirit. And that was said in the Lashwan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew. All right, um, this is the brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp. And I um, just want to go into a lesson real quick based off this article. And um, Lord's will let this lesson be out of fun. All right. And this lesson, as you see on the screen, is, is, is provided by uh, uh, from RT News, all right? And this was pu published um, March 25th, 2020, the, um, two, 2020, meaning the year of prophecy, all right? And as we see, you know, from the headlines, you know, prophecy is, 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 is constantly happening, you know? It's constantly uh, uh, coming, coming to pass, you know? And... Um, I'm gonna get into this article, and you can see that you know th this is it's surely the times that we're living in where prophecy is actually taking place. All right, so with that, I want to get into the, the the title. It says U.S., which means the United States is at a critical critical juncture. All right, and <clears throat> what I did was I looked up that word uh, juncture, and it means hold on real quick. It says juncture. It says. A, a, a particular point in event or time. All right. So it's coming to a particular point. All right. In event or a time. So the U.S. is dealing with something. It's coming into a time period where <clears throat> things is going to happen. As, as you know, the scripture speaks on, you know, uh, 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 you know, measuring the time diligently. And, 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 and the vision coming. I mean, the, <clears throat> the vision is set for an appointed time, all right? So now you see that the U.S. is at a critical juncture, all right? Once again, it says a particular a particular point in event or time. And it says, uh, facing two epidemics, <clears throat> to lock you. it says uh, COVID-19 and soaring joblessness, all right? And it says the Senate and the White House have finally managed to negotiate a record Two trillion dollars, uh, two trillion dollars stimulus aid package to ease the economic impact of the coronavirus outbreak, and I seen um the brother, you know the brother Bonawar had posted a a, a page, I mean it's like a video on his page, talking about that stimulus package. It was a, it was based off an article, and then it says that the stimulus patch uh stimulus package which is uh, that money that's going to be issued out by the government until uh, every citizen is going to be uh, 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 um, digital, all right? Which is, you know, a way of, uh, of, of Esau uh, easing this RFID microchip into play on the people, all right? Getting these people uh, comfortable or getting these people uh, settled or, or accepting this, uh, this, this RFID microchip or this digital currency, all right? So that was just a side note, all right? But I'm going to read it again. It says the Senate and the White House have finally managed to negotiate a record $2 trillion stimulus aid pa package to ease the economic impact of the coronavirus outbreak. But the money may well be too late. I mean, too little and too late. Too little, too late. Once approved, the bill will go to the House of Representatives for, for likely approval Thereafter, which it will go to the president desk for signing. Since the American and global stock market reaction has so far been lackluster. The problem is that the once a uh, virtuous circle of um, <clears throat> so a virtuous circle of increasing jobs, increasing spending in, in corporate pro pro profits, and more hiring that keeps the economy rolling. Is breaking due to the recession caused by the coronavirus. Unless the U.S. can slow the, slow the growth of the coronavirus epidemic and deal decis decis decisively with the soaring unemployment, which threatens to reach levels not seen 
since the Great Depression of the 1930s by summer, both crises could become a death spiral. All right, and this is the the time period, and this is the point of transition that's taking place because of this uh coronavirus. All right, the coronavirus is now crippling the economy, and it's getting so bad that they're saying that it can get to it can it can be as worse as the Great Depression. It can even be like the Great Depression, or much more, or, or much worse. All right, which I'm gonna read again. It says, which threatens to reach levels not seen since the great depression of the 1930s by summer all right so that's only a few months away you know and and if it continue to go on you know um it's gonna it's gonna it, it, it's showing you that this is gonna this this time period that we're in is gonna get bad you know it says um both crises could become a down a debt so like it become a death spiral the problems facing the u.s are long standing and deep along among most developed nations, the U.S. has won Norway's University of Science and Technology. In a letter to students studying abroad, this is uh, delic uh, delicately termed, all right, as poorly developed health service and infrastructure. The U.S. also, after decades of harsh cut um, cutbacks, at this point has only the last few remaining threads of what was even at the best, I mean, at best, call a social safety net to provide for those without jobs or with jobs that pay too little to meet basic needs like rent and food. All right, and going into the uh, government assistance, government help, what else? Um, the food stamps, you know, housing, you know, going into those things. All right, <clears throat> it says. Faced with the coronavirus pandemic, which has now infected over 55,000 people in 50 states, and with a stocking, stocking with a shocking shortage of coronavirus COVID-19 test kits because of poor planning by government, the best that the U.S. can do is lock down the economy. State after state has done this, ordering schools, college, and all but essential businesses businesses to shut down. With with every with everyone in non essential job ordered to hold up in their homes from the indefinite future. Many major US cities today resemble ghost towns with patrolling police and ambulance providing only signs of life. Alright, and that's what's talking about, you know, what's taking place is these cities are shut down. And with these cities being shut down, you know, it's 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 it, as they mentioned about um you know, unemployment rates going high, you know, is because, you know, these cities are shut down because of their concerns of the coronavirus. But, you know, now you have uh, uh, Donald Trump speaking on, uh, um, you know, sending back work, uh, sending back these employees to their jobs, you know, those that do have their jobs. Up. All right, let me continue on. It says, uh, joblessness is becoming a kind, kind of a second ec epidemic growing and spreading even more rapidly than COVID-19. So many people are sudden, suddenly being laid off that Donald, that President Trump even tried to pers persuade state governments, which are responsible for administering unemployment compensation programs, not to report the actual number of new unemployment comp applications for March. He failed in that endeavor with Fortune magazine projecting that five to six million workers could end up losing their job in March alone by the end of this month. And this is a situation the magazine calls uh, cata ca ca cataclysmic. According to a new report by the Economic Police, it's in, so like an Economic Policy Institute, 3.4 million of these laid off workers reportedly applied for benefits over the past week. Their numbers is 50% higher than the total number of New applicants, new applications for unemployment benefits filed over the prior prior twelve months, and is greater and is the greater number for a single month filed in the nation's history. All right, it says uh, far more laid off workers are expecting to claim benefits in April and even more in May. All right, so I'm gonna just get straight into the scriptures, talking about um. You know, this is this is prophesied. This is this is what's meant to happen. You know, I'm gonna start off with Isaiah, twenty four. 
right? And I'm going to start at the top. All right, Isaiah 24. And it says, it says, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, it maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. So he said that the Lord makes the earth, he's making the earth empty and making it waste. And turn it upside down. And this is what we have. The scripture talks about the sown places becoming unsown, which I will get right now. Because this is this is what's taking place with, you know, this 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 shutdown. You know, these stay at home orders, these you know, people losing their jobs. This is something that, you know, people didn't expect ha to happen, but now it's happening. Now people are losing their minds. All right, and this is uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. It says the full storehouse shall suddenly be found empty. All right, and when you have something that's sown together, that means it's uh, put together. Everything's, um, you know, everything's well put together. You know, you had children going to school. You have, uh, you know, people going to work. You know, you had all these, these things taking place to have a nation or a country running. All right. But now you see that it's becoming unsown. You have the kids staying home. You have a lot of people uh, working from home. If not, they they then lost their jobs. And you have uh, you know what it says, non-essential workers staying home. But you have essential workers out there, you know. And then a lot of people ain't making as much money as they they was before. All right. So now since I say it's uh, twenty four and two, it said it shall be as with the people, so with the priests, as with the servants, and so with his masters. As with the maid, and so with his mistress, and as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the given, giver of usury to him. All right, and it says the land shall be utterly empty, and utterly spoiled, for the Lord hath spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languish, languisheth and fadeth away, the haughty people. Of the earth do languish. It says the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. And that's talking about the, the, the that's talking about um, pertaining to Job nine and twenty four. It's talking about the Edomites. You know, it's talking about these elite. You know, it says the the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because you know Scripture talks about with the uh, Job nine and twenty four, which I'm gonna grab real quick. It says the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And when you read um, Malachi 1, I'm going to jump straight to the point. This is uh, Malachi 1 and 4. It says, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. So, you know, with the, with the inhabitants being the wicked, all right, with the being the wicked, guess what? You know, all they're gonna do is wickedness, and and hence why you have these plagues coming upon the earth. All right, you have wicked rulers, you know, and that's what the Lord said. He said they're gonna build up, and He's gonna throw it out, and this is a form of Him uh, throwing down. All right, He's gonna stop their 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 money. You know, this is how they get their their, their finances to, you know. But hey, look, He got it on hold. He got it. He got it. He got a pause on it because. Now it's something something big about to happen, all right? And and, and, and see, that's the thing with, with, with our people, you know, with our people, you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, you know, they, you know, they, they so busy uh, into, into folly that they don't see what's actually falling upon them in these times, you know? They don't see, uh, uh, um, you know, that th there's no coming back from here, you know? Once, the, once, it, once it crashed, you know, once this crash happened, once it, when it actually uh, happened not too long ago, you know, with the stock market crashing and the, you know, the the dollar, uh, you know, going down, you can you can go to the you can go to a gas station and find gas cheap now, you know, with um, a lot of businesses going, uh, you know, um, like small businesses being affected, you know, this is what's taking place now. Now you see that, you know, this place is not is is it's unstable. All right, it's on its last. It's on its last leg, as the article said that it's holding on to that little piece of thread. But our people who rely on the government, guess what? You know, 
their their stimulus packages is only uh, uh you know getting them ready to 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 accept that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. All right, but it's um continuing on. It says, um, verse six. Therefore, hath the the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. It says, the new wine mourneth, and the vine languishes. Right, and all the merry heart do sign. I mean, do sigh. The mirth of timber ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoice ended, and the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink. It says, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up, that no man can come in. All right, and it says, the city of confusion is broken down. All right, this is how you know. Uh, 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 you know, when it says confusion, that word confusion uh, uh, goes back to um, Babel, all right? And in and, and the Hebrew is Baba. So, you know, uh, going back to this, the Babylon, all right? Which is which is mystery, uh, mystery Babylon, you know, being America. The city of confusion is broken down. So this is part of the, the breaking down of this wicked, uh, uh, you know, wicked kingdom. You know, and, and, and breaking down of the wicked rulers that's in, in this kingdom. You know that that's 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 running it. All right, pertaining unto Job nine and twenty four, pertaining unto uh, uh, Malachi one and four. All right, <clears throat> all right. And this is um, continuing on. Um, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the street. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. And what you see is. They took out. They took away the NBA. They took away the MLB, which is baseball. You know the NCAA. You know a lot of concerts, a lot of a lot of uh, gatherings. You know you can't go sit. You can't go sit at a bar and drink wine. You know you can't do these things as before. You know because it says what the joy. All joy is darkened now. People are inside the house, stuck, trying to figure out what what what's the next move. Or if not, they they're on their phones and they're just uh, being occupied with with social media. All right, but they're being occupied with social media, not knowing, not paying attention to the times that we're in. All right, it says the mirth of the land is gone. It says, and the city is left desolate, and the gates is smitten with destruction. All right, so these are all plans of the Lord. You know, He said that He's going to do these things. All these things is going to happen. All right, and when you go into um, Ecclesiasticus, I don't want to write this up. You know, you see one forty four. Um, Ecclesiastes, uh, Salakia says Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, it says, Remember now the cre thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the cloud return after the rain, in the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out the window be darkened, all right? And let's look into the word grinder, the grinders, all right? And the grinders is right here. Strong's, Strong's H2912. Tachan. Tachan. All right, it says, it just, it says to grind, all right? And this, um... You know, and what we, Jake usually say, Jake said, uh, I'm grinding, I'm on my grind. So, you know what that, that refers and that goes back to work. All right. It says, so when the grinders cease, all right, because they are few. And why are they few? Because these jobs are being shut down. And, 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 and you know, um, last year, 2019, right, the year 2019, they was talking about, um, you know, those many articles that came out talking about a re retail apocalypse, all right, and hence wh uh, why these businesses were shutting down. A lot of a lot of businesses were shutting down. And now you have uh, the coronavirus that's affecting the economy that has a lot of people losing their jobs. And also you have a lot of people working from home with less hours and less pay, all right? So it's showing you that what the scripture just says, it, it, the, sp the, the prophecies is unfolding. All right, and this is and those that look out the windows be darkened. All right, and we're just talking about looking out. The future for America is dark. All right, and this as 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 that article says. Right here, 
All right, there's, there's no, there's really no bouncing back from this. They're trying to figure out ways to, to bounce back. Hence why they're gonna make that uh, digital currency, and uh, and, and try to run everything off of that, you know, but uh, which is the RFID microchip, you know, um, which which is the mark of the beast. All right, that's how they're gonna do it and get their one world, um, the new world order, uh, issued and try to get that established. But you know, any it, 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 that's even that is also going downhill. Because the the Most High is against that, all right. Yahweh Shemel Shai is against it, and he's gonna destroy this wicked, wicked, uh, 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 you know, this wicked country, which is um 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 Babylon, America, you know. And he's gonna utterly destroy it with fire, all right. And this is uh once again I'm gonna read the um the title says U S is at a critical juncture, facing two epidemics, COVID nineteen and soaring joblessness, all right. So going back to so we're going back to so that's how you know, you know, that's a concern to them is saying that the windows being dark and this the future is being dark. Verse four it says, um, the door shall be shut in the streets, and when the sound of the grinded is low, all right, when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music be brought low. All right. So it's just showing you that, you know, the things that are in the scriptures are actually coming to life. All right. This is this is once again, this is what you call prophecy. You know, the Lord says, speak thou uh, in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. All right. Keep, you know, uh, 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 you know, inform these people. Let them know. Because what they say, the, the scripture says what? The testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of the, the, the spirit of Yahweh Shah is the testimony of prophecy. Roughly paraphrasing, but let me grab it real quick. Um. Let me grab it real quick. All right. This is um. Uh, Revelation nineteen and ten, and I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said, said unto me, see thou, see thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah, worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. All right. So that's what the spirit of prophecy. The Lord told us to go uh, 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 prophesy. You know, he sent, he sent out his prophets to do his, his his work. You know, to do his will. All right, and I got one more precept. Let me just get it real quick. Which is um ended off on this one. Uh, second Ezra, Salakia, bear with me. Sixteen. And I'm just jump straight to the point. And it says, uh, 16, um, second Ezra 16 and 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine, and great confusion. All right. So it says victuals shall, uh, shall be so good cheap. Let's look into that word victuals. All right, it says food use, usable by people. All right, now let's go. Um, let me see if I can get it on Google real quick. Yep. So let's talk about food. It says. But, hey, you know, it, it just goes hand in hand because what, what they say, you know, the saying in the world is you don't work, you don't eat. So how are you able to feed your family? How you in, in a lot of a lot of businesses, in, in, you know, such as like these grocery stores, you know, they rely on, on, on these truckers and these uh, people at work that work at these grocery stores to stock the shelves. So, you know, say a victory should be good, uh, so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in a good case. So when these things was here, you know, if things was running, you know, people thought of themselves to be in a good case. Everything was up and running. It was fine. Everything was nice and dandy. But what the scripture also says, and the verse also, uh, the verse also says, and, evils, and even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And now, you know, the people in, in the great confusion, you know, in the state of great confusion. 
They don't know what possibly can happen from here on out, you know. Famine is coming. The sword is already, uh, uh, you know, getting uh, uh, prepared. You know, these plagues is here, you know. And this is this is all of the will of Yahweh Shemel Shah. Because he said that, you know, this is what he's going to do. All right. So I'm going to get this real quick and I'm going to end it off. Um, just, to let, uh, just to confirm and show the people that this is all from Yahweh, the, the Heavenly Father. This is this is this is a part of his plan, you know, because you know it's it's the scriptures say uh wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Alright. And this is um second Ezra six and six. It says then did I consider these things, and they all were made through me alone and through none other. By me also they shall be ended and by no other. Alright, none other. So what was that saying? That's the Heavenly Father talking. You know, it's saying that all the whole world was made through Yahweh Shem El Shah. All right. And guess what? It's going to end through Yahweh Shem El Shah. All right. And we're not just talking about the, the world itself. You know, we're talking about the end of the age, you know, because the earth will bide it forever. But, you know, the, this, this is the, the doing of the Heavenly Father. All right. So, you know, with that, you know, just you want to make go into this lesson. I don't want to make it too long and drawn out. Just brought up a few precepts and. You know, Lord's will that this lesson was edifying to lock it for any noise that was in the background or whatever the case may be. You know, but you know, just here to get the word out and do and, 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 and do the will of him that sent me. You know, I don't want to write this out and, and we endure until the end, you know, that we may be saved, you know, pertaining unto uh the words of the Lord, you know. He said endure endure to the end, the same he that endure to the end the same shall be saved. And and not just only that, that he had mercy on us in these times to come, you know. Because the Lord said he's going to take care of his servants, you know, but for the world and for, 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 for Babylon especially, you know, this 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 is great, great misery, you know, great judgment coming, you know. So, you know, just stay tuned, stay occupied in prophecy, um, as the script, you know, as scriptures say, watch and pray, you know, stay tuned into these, uh, these articles, and, you know, and just, you know, uh, be on your watch. So with that, I want to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim El Shah Ba'ashim Akakudash. The ones to apostles and elders once again. Peace and salutation to the whole for the left. With that, say Shalom and Abad Baba.